Hi, thanks for watching my Vision News. Warm welcome to you. Breaking news for you from Ethiopia, from Somalia. Tensions between these two countries escalating for the last four to five days. An attempt of uh, de-escalation. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed has tried to contact Somalia's President Hassan Sheikh. What happened? Uh, was he able uh, to connect? What was the response from Somalia? Why was the need for this uh, effort from the Prime Minister of Ethiopia to engage Somalia's president? Details for you in this video. Firstly, yes, uh, de-escalation is needed because Temperature is rising between Ethiopia and Somalia. The way uh, Somalia's government officials, ministers, uh, president, uh, military officials are speaking, it seems as if Somalia is uh, uh, going to declare a war on Ethiopia. I did several videos in the past few days. I showed you clips of Somalia's uh, military chief and military spokesperson who uh, put the navy on alert. Who said that they were in they were in touch with groups in the Somali region of Ethiopia and that uh, and they leveled serious allegations against uh, groups in Ethiopia. They leveled allegations against uh, Oromi and Afar to. And uh, they're trying to use Somali ISA card. I have done several videos if you're watching regularly. So it means that de escalation must happen, otherwise, the two countries are on a collision course. Somalia uh, believes it does not have lots of time on its side, it should uh, thwart the deal before it is signed. Ethiopia. Uh, on the other hand, has made its position clear, but the position is not being accepted by most of the members of the international community. So, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia reportedly tried to contact Hassan Sheikh, the President of Somalia. It is being reported by two officials of IGAD. Intergovernmental Authority on Development is a regional bloc. I think it has eight members, Ethiopia, Somalia, uh, Djibouti, Kenya, Sudan, South Sudan, Eritrea, etc. All are members of IGAD. IGAD, IGAD Secretary General is Varakkanega uh, Bejeo. I think he's from Ethiopia, very close to the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. And uh, two days ago, IGAD issued a statement about Ethiopia-Somalia tension, but that statement was rejected by Somalia's government. Somalia's government demanded apology from IGAD <clears throat> and asked IGAD to withdraw the statement. Uh, so, according to two IGAD officials, Prime Minister of Ethiopia tried to reach Hassan Sheikh, he tried to contact Hassan Sheikh by phone. But the call from Ethiopia to Somalia went unanswered. Somalia's president reportedly refused to uh, respond. That is being reported by some diplomatic sources. Question is, why did Abi try to contact Hassan Sheikh and why did Hassan Sheikh uh, reject the call? What is the reason? Abi does not want uh, regional uh, players, international players to be involved. We are seeing statements from across the world, uh, statements from African Union, OIC, Arab League. Turkey spoke as well, Sudan to Egypt, uh, UK, I uh, can go on and on. So, region and international community are becoming involved. Abi uh, wants to contact Hassan Sheikh to assure him that Ethiopia does not want to annex uh, Somali region territories. Can he give assurance to Hassan Sheikh that Ethiopia won't recognize Somali land as a country?
This is the main point. Because Musi Bay Abdi government has taken a public position that Ethiopia will recognize Somaliland as a country in return for Ethiopia getting a military base support in Somaliland. And how can Abi assure Hassan Sheikh that uh, Ethiopia does not want to recognize Somaliland? So it's a very difficult situation. Abi was hoping to connect uh, with Hassan Sheikh. It did not happen. Why is Hassan Sheikh refusing to respond to Abi's call? Very simple. Hassan Sheikh is under tremendous pressure. I've been saying for the last three days, reporting, telling you in detail that Hassan Sheikh is under immense pressure. Al Shabaab held a protest today in Jilib. Uh, opposition parties, former president, Parmajo, telling Hassan Sheikh to take a strong position. Somali diaspora, uh, Somali activists, journalists, exerting pressure on Hassan Sheikh. They are telling Hassan Sheikh to expel Ethiopian ambassador to Somalia. Somalia has recalled its ambassador to Ethiopia, but it has not declared Ethiopian ambassador for Sona non grata. Pressure is there. People, some groups in Somalia want Hassan Sheikh to declare Ethiopian ambassador to Somalia persona non grata. These hawks in Somalia want Hassan Sheikh to recognize SSC Khatomo, uh, to publicly support SSC Khatomo. These hawks ha want Hassan Sheikh to announce the collapse of Somalia Somaliland talks. The two sides met in Djibouti a few days ago. They signed an agreement. And a committee is going to be established in one month to uh, check out a roadmap for cooperation. Talks succeeded, but after that, Musiwe Abdi went to Ethiopia and he signed the MOU. These hawks in Somalia want Hassan Sheikh to announce the collapse or withdrawal of Somalia from bilateral engagement with Somaliland. That is why Hassan Sheikh government is under immense pressure. The Hassan Sheikh, uh, to the extent of statements, is uh, lashing out at Ethiopia. He is the one who used very controversial term yesterday when he addressed a gathering at a mosque, I think, in uh, Mogadishu, and he said that uh, Ethiopia Somalia border is Hudud Binad, fake border, false border. In a way, he made claim to Ethiopian territory. Somali region. He implied that if Ethiopia wants to recognize Somaliland as a country, Somalia would recognize Somali region as a separate country or, or as part of Somalia. This is the level of tension between these two sides. That is why de escalation is uh, definitely mandatory. But Hassan Sheikh is not in a position to talk to the Prime Minister of Ethiopia now. It could lead to his political suicide. Already he is being accused of being, he's being accused of being pro-Ethiopia. Param Alam from Kenya accused Hassan Sheikh of being in collusion, in secret alliance with Ethiopian government. So at this time, Hassan Sheikh cannot afford to talk to Abi, I think. Abi is eager. Hassan Sheikh does not uh, want to uh, endanger his political standing in Somalia. Because people are protesting. We saw another protest today. We saw a protest in Mogadishu two days ago. And the protest happened in a town in Somalia today, rejecting the MOU between Ethiopia and Somaliland. That is why Hassan Sheikh did not attend Abi's call. What is next? How to de-escalate? Hassan Sheikh wants Ethiopia to rescind the MOU with Somalia. He wants assurance from Ethiopia that Ethiopia won't recognize Somalia. Maybe, maybe Somalia would accept. Maybe. I'm not saying that I have received credible information. 
maybe Somalia would agree to Ethiopia uh, acquiring a port or a military base, naval base in Somaliland. But Somalia will never accept Ethiopia recognizing Somaliland as a country. This is the main problem, main dispute between Ethiopia and uh, Somalia. So Ethiopia, BMRB will have to give some sort of assurance to Hassan Sheikh that Ethiopia won't recognize Somaliland as a country. Can this assurance come from Ethiopia? If Ethiopia has already agreed with Musi Bayabdi that Ethiopia would recognize my land, how can this assurance be given from Abi to Hassan Sheikh? This is a very complex matter now. Uh, could there be mediators? Of course, people, entities, countries would be ready to mediate between Abi and Hassan Sheikh. But could there be a common ground? Can Hassan Sheikh offer something to Ethiopia? That Ethiopia should divert its attention from Somaliland to Somalia. Let's see. I said five days ago, four days ago, when the MOU was signed, that coming 30 days is going to be very eventful, very crucial. And that is what happening. Almost on daily basis, we are seeing new developments. I'm trying to keep you updated. Do stay in touch with me. I have some people sources in Somali land, Somalia, they stay in touch with me. But if I am missing important information, important developments in Somalia, Somali region of Ethiopia, Somali land, do contact me and uh, share your views or the stories which I'm missing. You can reach me at uh, sajid67200 at the rate of gmail.com. I'll speak more about this issue in uh, today's live chat after two hours, we'll talk about Romia and Amhara too. What are Ola's objectives in Romia and what is Fano doing in Amhara? All that and more in today's live chat session after a few hours. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.